Pony Fuego, 93 like me Fire in the sheets, spending summers on the seas Quedo, shit no way, yo Devil very excited here together with Eiffel and the plane as we can see it will be well of course uh, coming from uh, from right next to the Milta power or Milta between Milta power and Milta and we'll be heading there all the way towards Zark a little bit more on the, on the eastern side of it but still it's gonna cut out a lot of places from the southwest as we can see Ferry Pier, Primors for example unreachable because if they go action going all the way for the Sosna of God and, and do remember I mean the military circle is completely possible with this kind of plane as well, it doesn't mean that the, uh, the when the rest of the pl plane path is going to be on the north, it can still come on the south. So, I mean, Fager, they might get lucky as well. We have seen that happening a couple times on the past. But otherwise, the eastern side, that should bring no surprises because nobody of the teams who can't really get to their old places will not be landing there. We can see the red line, BBL, Virtus Pro going for the usual places. Mitra's going to be stealing one of the vehicles. Spider's going to take one as well. A liquid, of course, in Pochinki, Navi, Cursed on the same places, face on the usual places. Uh, Everybody will be more or less getting in the normal places, and even Polish Power, who didn't play the Northern George Paul on the last game because it was not uh, available for them, now they will take it, and it's going to be a good one actually because we get the circle, and they will be nicely inside of it. So we get again one of these circles that's going to be divided by the river, and uh, of course that will mean that uh, we'll see the. Team yeah, and it does seem like the fight between Ens and VP is kind of blossomed up again because right now Tixu and Squeak, they have moved very close by. Bottling goes super, super low, but Tixu doesn't get the knocker. That would have been so crucial. Squeaky, however, sitting right next to him. Seems like he doesn't have any idea, but it doesn't matter because he takes down Spyro anyway. Bottling now going to try with the Molotov out of the smoke. Doesn't quite find the position to throw it in. And now Lou against Squeaky. That's a close one. Rustanmar with the follow-up nade. Great job from him him but Tixu has gone down in the background squeaky now down to one hp three hp mm. actually but uh with that molotov as well and rust on mars knock that seems to be bottling out and uh that means vp they had to get the revival spiral but perfect is still quite healthy here he's taking shots from multiple angles only spiral remaining and there it is and get the better of vp yeah, they will lose Dickery in the process. Great four kills coming for Ens. I mean, Squeak did a lot of heavy lifting. They're going very close combat with them, you know, getting their hands dirty with the fighting, really, like getting all the blood on their faces as well. This was definitely not a clean cut from the distance. These guys, they're just not rotating away at all. I mean, they're coming back. It's like a magnet where all the teams are just wants to stay here all right next to the <laughs> playing crash side. And Phase Day with the four-man stack still waiting if they can get anything out of it. And the circle's going to be pushing Phase all the way towards these teams as well but it seems that the L double they have no idea about the Arangal only and Samurai is <laughs> going to fall down same applies for the informers as well and it's going to be Arangal only getting Samurai and the Foreman's down I mean they were just running there just like having a Sunday walk more or less and then I mean just on the middle of the walk somebody's going to shoot you on the head so definitely not so nice no, I feel like this position right there, I mean, it's no surprise, like, all we always see a lot of players fight for this position right here because it's the most accessible, it's space for so many teams at the same time, and look at this, now Gustav is going to come in, take down number as well, we actually have BBL coming up on the backside of phase as well, and there it is, Code Marco finds the first knock, first phase goes down and gets flushed as well, so as we can see, so many teams around this area, and I mean, there's no surprise, there's nothing else to play that is kind of reliable here, so this is obviously where all of the fighting is going to happen, but I think we have about 20 players who have given their lives in this exact position right now. Yeah, Noki's going to knock a duck down. That's going to be a great three to three times scope spray. I mean, Noki's a blue star and crazy just hunting him down. Noki wants to go for a very wide split, but they still have Korsak on the different angle, but he's not really supporting, so Noki's going to be completely on his own, and the shots will be coming on the backside. That's going to be, uh, was it Mock and Duck? Or blue, blue star was shooting from there, so Mock and Duck died already, so definitely can't be him. And Noki just chilling here for a while. The BBL and face they're like developing their own situation on the side of it. Gusto gets code marker down and BBL down to smash Mitraleos and Mert for now. They can still go for the revival face. They are taking a lot of casualties as well. I mean, they have lost fast face. Fix? Shots from Fex will just smash and Mert down. Great shots coming from him. And he's just, he's just the alpha male of the lobby, as always. We have seen Godzilla so many times. We know that he's completely wide in the open, walking inside of a rungle. That is the place where we should not give him because I'm quite sure that if they would be a Godzilla, uh, Godzilla versus the King Kong. I mean, the, the King Kong would be already on the different map, maybe on Tiger already.
background here as we see FaZe getting the final kill as well and they will be able to get that revival. I mean Liquid is coming and there we have Ibiza actually with the AVM as well and I want to see some AVM shots definitely. So let's hope that the is going to be hitting those. Now it's going to be Arunga only that's going to be under fire so the whole pressure is coming. Also FaZe is spotted by the team Liquid. Max is going to be shooting on that direction. Let's see what else they can find. Nothing for now. They're going to be a little bit like leaving off and Arunga alone they can be this Let's go to the other direction. But you have FaZe there. I mean what can you do? You have FaZe on the other side, you have Liquid on the other side, and Gusto with those HG grenades, that's not the direction you want to be going crazy, takes the damage from that nade, is there going to be a second one, yes there is, and that's going to do the job, he's going to, he, crazy is going to fall down, Bluster completely alone, will be just proning and trying to hide, hoping for the best, keeping his fingers crossed, as we do have Redline and Navi battling here on the eastern side, Alia gets Ivers with the nade, that's going to be traded immediately, Ooh. whole FG is going to fall down at the same time as well, as we have red line having a huge amount of damage as well. QB and nail up, and that's gonna be one player going for the revival. That's gonna be Quizzy and the spray from the blue from the past. Nail up gets uh, flashback, gets the spray as well. Red line trying to revive. No, the blue is gonna do some damage, but nail up still staying alive for the moment. But Quizzy, if he has anything to throw, now it's gonna be the time to throw it. And they are coming. The mollies are here. And red line is not gonna be a HG grenade, but it's gonna be a one. But they will try to do everything, but Quizzy just just does so lot of damage but in the end he's gonna fall and we do have liquid face still happening we can see fix falling down the face clan they will finish off wrongle only but liquid they're quite far away at least one team is gonna be disappearing from the middle and the last team from navi gonna fall down as well and i mean polish power they have been just sitting here only two kills for them they have been just looking from the side when somebody else is stealing their candy yeah, Polish power here, <laughs> really just in a good spot, but getting absolutely no action their way. But I mean, still, they have four players alive, they have the two kills, and there's still plenty of players alive here, as we do see actually Gustav stealing away one more, you could say, as Mexe will go down the face, getting to chip away a little bit on liquid numbers as well, but they have to potentially run in towards Redline here. As we see QBE going down, Aitzi goes down, this is just a mayhem, and I gotta say, I feel bad for uh, Polish power helicopter. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's going to be Lukaku coming on the backside of face still even from that fight. So uh, they are definitely wanting to have a go. And now we have double VL and Polish power building up here on the southern side. So let's have a look on this one for a while. But this could be the final fight. And then one team coming from the northern side. Lukaku's completely alone. Gusto completely alone. Uh, he beats, I mean, Kroza and AVM. That is just simply not fair. As Gusto will be spotted, James, with that nice shot from the minute. Going to be tagging him quite low. 20 HP remaining. Has a nade. Will be trying to put that right next to that rock it's gonna come right on the right place and that should be it but it's gonna be a red line before that who's gonna find that kill no points for the liquid from that one but now it's gonna be Lucas this time to challenge the liquid there's no challenge whatsoever because James will immediately just get that kill and it's gonna be only three teams it's gonna be a liquid on the northern side and then we have Polish power and the double we a double wear with four kills it's gonna be a bit of getting knock is done that's gonna be a nice shot with the AVM so let's see how this will play out in the end yeah, Liquid here still with three members alive. Like you mentioned, they have double crate weapons on this team. And that should mean that they have multiple level three helmets and vests as well, which will be maybe the more scary thing when it comes to this team. Because if you aren't able to kill them fast, they will kill you. But now look at this zone. It's going to force Polish power to move out of their compound. It's going to force WLA to move into Polish power's territory. And that means that Liquid can actually come in and third party this one. So everything is just set for a Liquid win right now, but Polish power, WLA, still three players alive. So in terms of players alive, things are still very much even. Yeah, AB, it's a fine steer. Yeah. The tires of the vehicles will do some damage towards them once to make it so that they're not going to be moving at all fast. Liquid, five kills for them, but they have a great place. They are in the middle of the circle. It's going to be phase number six. And now we can see Polish power and double VLA having a situation on the southern side. They are also partly outside of the zone. That's going to mean that Polish power, they have a chance to gatekeep the double VLA. And most probably, the outcome is that there's going to be only one team coming from here. And then we can expect maybe Liquid also coming on the backside already and pushing. So this might be over very fast. 
fast, but Cruneo takes the damage. We'll be getting that nade. More nades coming towards Hobbit. Not going to be taking any of that damage. Hobbit has the AVM as well, and he's got to get Marzalek down with it. So that's going to be double AVMs on the end battle for sure, as Marzalek will be knocked with it. The, pre the, the precious sound, the lovely sound of the AVM. That's going to keep it away for the other players as well, as Cappy fighting with the double VLA. As they are using the rock as a cover, but Cappy from this location, they know that he's going to be here, and he's also the most solidest player, Crudio. Important Ooh. one versus I don't know how many, but it's going to be four. Leslie trading that from the distance. So it's going to be two versus one. So Polish power anymore is going to be Cappy remaining. Gets four. Leslie down, and now it's going to be only solo players versus the Liquid, and they are coming as we as we speak. It's going to be already cleared with that nade. Crudio is going to be trying to hide on those the smokes there. Oh, what a spray! And that should be doing the job, but no, that's going to be easy in the end. Double VLA. They will do the revival. And it's going to be Liquid coming from top of the hill. Ibiza running with the Grows are gonna fall down in the end, unfortunately. But now Clip, he wants to do it in the end, and he's gonna get both Fate and Hobbit. And now it's gonna be just Cappy running outside and Liquid with these angles. There we have the finishing shot. That is way too easy. Liquid nine kills, chicken dinner, and the lovely. I don't know. It's gonna be a horse or whatever is in the logo. Um, maybe a unicorn even getting those 19 points, and that's the job well done.